we are at a crossroad. It is time for a change and a rethinking of our decaying social structure. We need a new model of society if we want humanity to survive. Paradism. Paradism is about creating a new society without work. Why ask for more jobs when what we really want is more time, more freedom and more fun? Most of the work, and soon all of the work human beings do, can be done better, faster and at a far lesser cost by machines and robots. Robots already produce cars worldwide with very little human labour. It could soon be completely automated. The same is also true for food. Vegetables produced on farms will be harvested by robots with a technology that already exists. Robotized trucks can then deliver the produce directly to consumers who will select what they want online. Services are all becoming automated. ATMs, online shopping, directory assistance are just a few examples. Even surgical robots are already performing tasks more precisely than human surgeons can. Paradism is about creating a society without money. As all human needs are progressively handled by computers and robots, and all products are made abundant, there will be no need for money. Machines that can manufacture any object of any shape are already in existence. Today, these machines could provide everyone with all the necessities and luxury items in almost no time, at almost no cost. Soon everything, from a spanner to a sports car, can be made on demand, on location, and for free. Paradism will not let the technology benefit just a small group of people. The resources, the knowledge and the technology will not be owned by private interests. They will belong to the whole community. The machines and robots won't need to be paid for their work and the resources they need. Everything they do, everything they produce, can be free. Paradism will make the development of nanotechnology one of its highest priorities. Nanoreplicators or nanobots will be designed to assemble anything atom by atom. Using the materials they extract directly from the ground, they will be able to replicate any object, including our food, and make dishes to the recipes of our choice. At our request, food will be synthesized to our desired tastes and textures. It will be an exact or enhanced copy of its natural equivalent. Farmlands will then return to their natural states or be developed at our own leisure. Why trying desperately to keep or create jobs to justify a salary that is just barely enough for one to survive when we could give all the jobs to a multitude of robots programmed to serve us and give us a higher quality of life? Paradism is about creating a society without pollution. Fighting pollution is of little interest in our current economic system, where maximizing profit prevails in every decision. It only becomes a concern when it is already too late. The health and well-being of the people and all life forms is the highest if not the only priority of paradism. Resources will primarily go towards repairing the earth and keeping it safe and clean for all life. It implies an immediate, unilateral and complete demilitarization, along with the dismantling and banning of all weapons designed to kill or injure human beings. To achieve sustainability, paradism will first need to strictly monitor the population growth and keep it at levels for which our resources and technology can guarantee the well-being for everyone, including those of future generations. To avoid ending up living on mountains of waste, 
everything will need to be recyclable and ultimately biodegradable. Biotechnologies must be developed to provide all the biologically engineered components or materials that are required by a manufacturing industry. They will make products that will quickly disintegrate after usage via the recycling process of nature. Everything could be made biologically or could at least be biologically assimilated. Paradism is about creating a society without disease. Everyone should be given the best medical treatment available free of charge. Every life is as precious as any other. All those pursuing scientific research will do it as a hobby and not a job. They will be motivated by their own passion or by their desire to contribute to humanity and the betterment of society. The scientists, but also the artists, and all those who contribute to improve the health, the well-being and the happiness of the people, will be recognized for their achievements. They will be praised as heroes of our time. Scientists in all domains, but especially in medicine, will receive all the resources and training they request. All newly discovered drugs or treatments will be made available to everyone for free. Stem cell research, which holds the promise of regenerating damaged tissues and organs, will be strongly encouraged. When successful, all defects or injuries, whether they arise through disease, genetics or by accident, could be corrected and prevented. Aging could be stopped and reversed. And when we will be able to overcome death scientifically, paradism may well have led us to its final destination, creating a true paradise on earth. Paradism is about creating a society without government. The monetary and political systems have reached the end of the road and are both collapsing at the same time. It will result in the creation of a worldwide currency and a world government. That is the remedy for all the financial crisis and the necessary transition towards a world without money and government. The future world government will not rule or govern the people. We should rather call it a world administration. It will administrate, looking after the supply of money, the energy, the resources, etc. It will administrate the earth, but not govern the people. In paradise, there are no countries, because there are no frontiers. There are no jails, because there is no police. There are no politicians, because there is no government. A human being cannot be made a slave, a subject, or be turned into a sheep. It is a crime against humanity. A human being cannot be ruled or governed by anyone else but him or herself. A human being is the master of their own life, the creator of their own destiny. The ability to organize ourselves in a harmonious society doesn't result from the existence of a government. As a matter of fact, history is crammed with intense conflictual relationships between the people and their government. Human beings aspire to be free, and it is their inherent nature to rebel against any form of authority that tries to control and conform them. To sustain the harmony and cohesion of the society, we will need to abandon the idea to subjugate people. No authority can take away anyone's responsibility to decide for themselves and assume all the consequences. Large societies in the animal kingdom work perfectly without governments. In the ant society, there is a queen, but she has no power. She has been given the wrong name. Her only function is to lay eggs all day long. 
There is no power struggle within the ant society because there is no position of power. There is no government, no law, no police. Everyone operates freely. This is a marvelous example of cooperation. When an ant carries a heavy weight towards the nest, two others come to help. While keeping their freedom to move around and do what they want, they contribute freely to the well-being of the whole and benefit from the community without compromising any of their individual freedoms. It is in the nature of ants to cooperate and care for each other. The ants just follow their natural inclinations. They don't need a government, they don't need laws to regulate them, to get things done. They don't have anything but the natural law. The law that is set by nature, which regulates the life of all beings. Human beings too are meant to live in a society and are therefore all born with this natural inclination to cooperate, to care for each other, to love and be loved. When needed, they would voluntarily work together. They will not work in a chaotic and disorganized manner, but they will work under the leadership of those who would have risen to the occasion. The leaders lead without any authority or power over the people. They are recognized for their valuable guidance and are able to inspire others to participate willingly. Whenever there is a government or an authority in charge, they need to enforce their decision onto the people and therefore will always strive to turn people into compliant sheep. A government needs a power structure, an army, a police, as it cannot operate without enforcement and it makes more and more laws to exert more control over the people. In paradism, there is leadership but no power structure because there is nothing to enforce. Everything is being done on a voluntary basis. Whenever there is authority and power, there is friction and resistance. It takes away people's responsibility and prevents them from operating with the natural law. As a result, it creates more chaos by disrupting the natural order that would have taken place. Paradism is about creating a society of leisure, a paradise on earth. Paradism will not let people without work get bored and do nothing. It will create a multitude of activities that support the happiness and blossoming of the individual and the society as a whole. Leisure activities will be more developed and made available for free. People want to have fun and play. Sports fields and amusement parks will mushroom everywhere. Education will be free. And those who desire to do scientific research and those who seek to improve our quality of life through their inventions will be encouraged and supported. People will have the time and the resources to do any form of art. Artists will create for us an environment each time more beautiful and stimulating. Art pieces will be appreciated for their true value, as there will be no money. Artists will offer their creations to their friends or their community out of love. Transport will be free, allowing everyone to travel to meet others and discover the wonders of the planet they live in. People will be encouraged to grow spiritually in the direction of their choosing, so as to increase their level of happiness and harmony. When one is happy and in harmony, one contributes positively to the well-being of the whole society. People will spend their time in what they enjoy the most, connecting with people, dancing, partying and making love. As intended by the natural law, in sexuality, like in other domains, nothing will be imposed on people. They won't have to conform to a set of rules or behaviors. 
As long as one respects other people's freedom and choices, they can freely express their potential and uniqueness to live the life they aspire to. The forces that are guiding us to free ourselves and create a paradise on earth are unstoppable. They are deeply rooted in our collective subconscious. It is what our technological progress has been leading us to right from the start. Paradise is inevitable. Let us not delay any longer by trying to fix the old system. The time has come to embrace paradism as our new model of society.